Good afternoon. I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. Four people are dead in Laurel, Nebraska, after a night of violence. At a news conference this afternoon, Nebraska State Patrol officers said that emergency responders got a 911 call about an explosion at around 3 a.m. and rushed to the scene. There were two different fires three blocks apart, and four people were found dead. The possible suspect in the crime was seen fleeing town in a vehicle. Police don't know if the victims, who have not been identified yet, died in the fire or from gunshot wounds. Authorities are asking for the public's help in solving the crimes. They're asking for any security camera video or other evidence. This is a cooperative effort, but our most important partner in this case right now remains the public. Again, if anyone has information relating to these deaths, we ask you to contact us. Local businesses and other buildings in Laurel were reportedly still on lockdown. The investigation remains active. The Iowa Department of Public Safety released autopsy reports today for the victims of the Makokota Cave State Park killings. Tyler and Sarah Schmidt and their six-year-old daughter Lula were found dead in their tents on the morning of July 22nd. The state medical examiner says Tyler Schmidt died of a gunshot wound and stabbing injuries. Sarah Schmidt died from being stabbed multiple times. And six-year-old Year old Lula Schmidt died from a gunshot wound and strangulation. 23 year old Sherwin died of a self inflicted gunshot wound. That's a look at Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett.